Talking Heads. I have the unique privilege here, standing here with former Senator Dave, and he's been so gracious not to spend some time with us and have a little chat, so let's get to it. So what got you started writing? Is that something that was handed down to you and your family, or was it just something you got a, a wild itch for it and thought, I want to try this whole riding a motorcycle thing out? Jerry Ramser, uh, I had written a little bit of motorcycle. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, we, we used his horse while he went to the United States Army. It was the fastest horse in the area, but it wouldn't go fast enough. Mm. So then I got a 49cc Ward's moped, and then I got an 80cc Yamaha and a 250cc yeah. Yamaha. And uh, uh, then I come back out of the Marine Corps with a 350cc okay. Honda. And I got to just share this, Nick. Coming back from California after Vietnam and combat, I mean, I'd wave at these big Harley choppers, and a lot of them wouldn't wave back. Since that ride, yeah. I have never not waved at everyone. I got it. I got the million miles. I want to say that I'm proud to call Dave a friend. I'm proud to say that Dave's a former client. We're proud to have sponsored this ride. First time anyone's ever hit a million miles on one Harley. We're very proud of the work that Dave Zine has done for decades for bikers. We're very proud of Dave's service to his country in Vietnam. We're very proud of the work he's done for veterans for decades. So how did the museum come about? When, when I was coming close to that threshold of a million miles, yeah. um, Harley Davidson had been, when I was a senator, with our uh, ethics laws, uh, you, you cannot receive anything for nothing over $50. But we had did all the paperwork when I had about 750000 that if Hardy Davidson agreed to give anybody a, a bike with 750,000 miles, they'd have to do it for anybody and everybody. But then that kind of fell through, but when we hit a million miles, Hardy Davidson gave me a 2009 road glide. And then we put the million mile Hardy right here in Sturgis Museum. Uh, but we are officially gonna retire this motorcycle to the Sturgis Hall of Fame Museum where David is a member. Yeah. And the curator for the uh, uh, Sturgis Hall of Fame Museum will be there to accept the keys if there is one for this thing. <laughs> okay. And rumor has it uh, that we will pre be presenting David with a 2009 Road Glide Harley Davidson. Motor. I know that you have touched a lot of bikes. Yep. Do you have one favorite, one favorite motorcycle that will stick in your mind for eternity? Susanna Alashalakalea. Okay, help me understand. That's her in the museum. Can yeah. you imagine a million miles on one machine? I yeah. mean, um, I mean, you're uh, bonded. I, you're bonded oh, with no. that. You know. When, when they gave me that 2009 Road Glide at the Harley Davidson Museum in Milwaukee, I started to cry. I had to turn away, and I felt like turning them down. Yeah. Well, listen, a long Dave, answer to your question. Hey, that's yeah, all right. Yep. I very much appreciate yep. it. It has been an absolute honor getting to talk oh, to you. Thank you good. so thank much you, Nick. for your time. Oh, geez, I talk too much. No, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> thank okay. you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. God bless you. Oh, 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 he wasn't as much fun as we had a little while ago. <laughs>